I was looking at this game hard. Like we gonna have to be uh, doing. What are we doing? We're going to have to be doing Forbidden Memories, and we're going to have to be doing, uh, what's that game called? Guess what? We got more information about Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah. Early yeah. Days Connect. Yeah. So, I'm always late to the party, but I figure it out at some point. Anyway, we see now that we finally had the release date. We got available February 27th, 2025. All right, so we're getting this next year early on in February, so that's great. So... Sooner than I thought, I'm thinking the way they was holding off about information that we wasn't getting this until like, you know, we weren't going to get this until, I don't know, mid-2025, but we're getting it sooner than expected. So also, they got some no, more information about games that are dropping too, so let's scroll down and check that out. All right, as you can see so far on the first page, they updated things. You see, they go Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, the Eternal Duelist Soul. That's, that's what they call it for us, but that's, you know, expert number five for Japan, but... We getting the Eternal Souls version. So a lot of people that like Eternal Souls, guess what? We got it. Thank goodness. Because uh, sometimes people like five more than six, which was Eternal Souls versus Worldwide. It got a different fan base, sort of. Because five is kind of like, you know, the um, basically how Dark Duel stories do it. They got that format going. And people like that format. So I'm glad that we got five and six. So that's good. And we're going to scroll down. We're going to see the other two that... If you know, you know, all right? Oh, man, there they go. They got Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards, and they got Yu-Gi-Oh! Receive of Destruction. I can't wait to people play Receive of Destruction and start dying. That's going to be hilarious. But we got them. We got them both. And as you don't know, they're called 7 and 8. You got Dual Monsters uh, Expert 7 and Dual Monsters Expert 8. We got, we got both of them, so that's good. Now, I expected us to have them, and that's all that they're showing us right now. But if you go back up to the top, it says... Uh, title lineup, more titles to be announced. So, uh, like Game Famitsu showed us, that there will be a total of 10 titles. So, I'm going to go over the Game Mitsu stuff, and then we're going to go back to this screen, and we're going to start speculating. Uh, some of my uh, picks still for some games I think hit up here in this collection. Alright, so let's go. Alright, so, as you can see, they're going to give us more information in Game Mitsu, because they start explaining this a little bit in depth of what we can expect. So, so far, they haven't updated their list to put Dual Monsters uh, 5 in there. I guess they have. It's right down there. They got Yu-Gi-Oh! The Eternal Duelist uh, Soul, which we got in 2001, which is kind of interesting. Then we got the Sacred Cards up in there, and we got Receive of Destruction. So now as we read, it says, This collection will include a save slash load feature. Well, it better include a save slash load feature. <laughs> anyway, a feature not available at the time of the original releases. Well, I guess, but whatever. Anyway, um, there will also be support for online battles in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters 4, Battle of the Great Duelists. After release, some titles will be updated to support online battles. Okay, now that's very interesting. So, what that tells me is they only did 4 and 6. And they were like, hey, we got to put more games in the collection. So, so, good news is they are giving us online features. Hopefully, they're good online features for Expert 4. Expert 4 kind of needs it because if you if you guys know about Expert 4, you got three different protagonists. You got Yu, Yugi, Joey, and Kaiba, and their storylines are different, so they probably need online multiplayer to some degree. Otherwise, that game is going to not be so great. So, they do have it in the other titles. They say they're going to add it later on, whatever that means. Like, hopefully, that's free. Hopefully, that ain't no, no paid DLC to add that online for those games. But that's cool that that's happening. So that's that's definitely interesting. But yeah, they definitely just had four ready when they was making this. Somebody was out there remaking four, and then the rest of them said, "Hey, you know, we need more games in this collection. We can't sell uh, Dual Monsters four for fifty dollars, guys." So I, I find that kind of funny. But anyway, um, that's cool. So they gonna have online at some point. Hopefully, all of the titles have online, not just a few of them. Because if we're going to put them all in there later, we, we should get all online for them. So now, why they don't have online for 6, I don't understand that. That's kind of weird. But 4 was probably definitely the first one they was working on. So let's go ahead and scroll down. It also says, um, Iconic Yu-Gi-Oh! Digital Titles Optimized for Modern Play. Okay, that's good. So uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Early Days Collection Packs quali Quality of Life Improvements that Elevate Classic Games for Modern Gaming Platforms. Control button layout customization and background settings will be uh, also be supported. 
Okay, so now that wasn't really an issue with these old games. I, I guess it's nice if they look better, but they probably won't look too much better. But what what we need from these games, and, and I wish they had asked the fans, man, because we, we be knowing. So what we need from these games to put them in the modern day era is fix that RNG. Because like some of these games, these older games specifically, man, it's going to take forever to get some of these cards and some of the RNG is just broken on some of the older Duelist Monster games. So if you're going to have bad RNG in those games, oh, that's going to... That's not going to make it a modern version of a game. So if they went in there and fixed the RNG, that'll help. It don't sound like they did. It seemed like this is a lot of jargon that they're spouting at us. And they're basically saying, we might have updated a texture or two. And we'll let you change the... Like, why should we care about changing the control layout? Because this is a Yu-Gi-Oh game. We're not, we're not in an action game fighting back and forth. So, like, it, what are we going to do? Change uh, the confirm button from uh, A to B? So I, I don't know what they mean by that, but that doesn't that doesn't seem too great. Maybe deck editing and everything. Maybe they can streamline that and let us sort through the cards. That would be nice because this game also didn't let you sort through the cards. So if they can like make deck building and deck editing better, but if they didn't, then I don't know what they're talking about here. So hopefully that experience is better. But we ain't seen one menu of the deck editor mode. So. I don't want to give everybody's hopes up because we might not get what they saying we about to get here. They say customization layout, but hey, if that ain't making the deck editing any easier, then that layout ain't useful. But we, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I'll definitely let you guys know because I'm definitely going to get this game in February when it when it drops. And we're going to go over all these changes and everything. Because I've been playing the old games too, so we're going we gonna to know the difference. But that's cool. So um, they're going to change the control layout and... I guess the textures in the background gonna look a little bit better, but I don't think we were complaining about that too much. So let's go down, let's look at some screenshots for this. Okay, so we got the first image. I, I believe this is uh, Rashid for Destruction that they're showing us. Now, I don't know why they're showing us Rashid for Destruction first, but this looks like Rashid for Destruction. Like, I don't think that's Sacred Cards because I think the models were better in Rashid for Destruction. It had better graphics. So I would like them to show me Sacred Cards so I can know if that game is good. Now, hopefully in Rashid for Destruction, they got rid of the little cursor thing going round and round and round. Like, if that's gone, thank goodness, because I'm tired of dealing with that. But hopefully that's gone. So let's go to the next screenshot. Okay, so now I, I, I guess this might be Eternal Soul. It might be. Who knows? Um, but we got this screenshot, and, and that looks okay. But there's no text on Cyberstein's name. So Cyberstein ain't got no text on his name. I see his picture. I see his attack points. And I see some type of, uh, what kind of writing that is on that? Is that Braille? But they got some writing on him. But, and, and no name up there. He got his stars, his element. He he ain't got no password on him. And he ain't got no name on him. So Cyberstein, don't say Cyberstein on here. So I don't know why we didn't go in there and put his name in there. But anyway, that that's Cyberstein. And this game look about, about the same. Hopefully the background's... Now, now, you can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but one of these games had a moving background that was annoying to look at. So, I don't think it was this one, but hopefully the moving background that's going to hurt our eyes is gone or we can change that up or something. That would be nice. Anyway, let's go to the next screenshot. Okay, so now we got this dual screenshot. So, I don't know what this is. Guys, I don't know. If you're in the comments and you know what this is, let me know. I don't know what this is. Now, this, now I have a speculation of what I think this is, but I... I ain't seen that before. So I think this might be the online mode they talking about because they never had an online mode. So this might be the new online mode where they just saying duel. And I guess it's the new online mode. I have to hope and assume it is. I really don't know what this is. But if that's the online mode, I can kind of see that or unless that's just a free duel mode. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you know what that is because I, I, I don't know what that is. Anyway, let's go to the next screenshot. Okay, so now we got some wallpaper in the back with uh, Frog the Jam and Lord the D. So again, that could be any of the old games. Like, well, maybe. Uh, the way the text box looks, it looks like that probably is Sacred Cards or something. But um, yeah, that that's, I mean, they got their names up there. So they don't got their names on the Turnus Duel and um, the Duel Monsters up to six, but they got their names up there when Sacred Cards and... and uh, What's it called? Uh, Receive a Destruction come out. So that's at least okay, right? Hey, I, I don't know how this going to go, but them graphics look mighty the same to me. But hey, we improved the background texture. There is no background here. It's just a black canvas. All right, so now this, now I'm guessing this is the cover art. So they look old school. 
And seeing this cover art makes me really sure that Forbidden Memories in the game. Look, look at this. This look like this look like this probably is Forbidden Memories to some degree. Battle City Forbidden Memories or something. But that is interesting that we got Kaiba in the Battle City attire and Yugi in there. So this this already lets you know real quick. You're not getting GX in this. <laughs> so I hey I know people want GX like Tag Force and everything, but look at that. That's Yugi and that's Kaiba. Jaden ain't up in there. So we not getting Tag Force in this one. Hopefully we can get Jaden in the next collection. Actually, in the collection after the next one. Because we still got some more Yugi to go through. Then we can see Jaden sometime after that, I guess. But, yeah, so sorry, guys. The dream is not there. There, there is no Tag Force here. Look at this. Like, if I'm a betting man, I'm betting that there is no Tag Force here. Or no uh, GX 2006. Probably not. But this looks like the cover art to me. So... I would say that's the covering art. If I'm if I'm a better man, that's the cover art. Look at that. Look like Yugi and Kaiba to me. But um, yeah, that's it. I, I wish it was was better than this. It's like so old school that it it actually doesn't really fit the theme too much. That's the weird part. Like I don't know why Joey's not here. If, if anything, because it seems like if you just throw Joey in here, this makes a lot more sense. But with Yugi and Kaiba, I I don't know where we were going with this because Kaiba really doesn't do much in these games. So I, I don't know why Kaiba's here, but whatever. And, and if Kaiba's here, Joey should be there with him. So I don't, I don't know what's going on there. But I would like to say that's a hint that, I don't know, man. At that rate, let's just throw in Capsule Monsters and the rest of them. I don't know. Let's look at the next screenshot. Okay, so there's the release date coming um, February 26, 2025. That's about it for that one. And there you go. You see Yugi and Kaiba again. A close-up on Okay, they go Mo Yugi and Kai, but there they go. And that's the last of the screenshots on that. So let's get back to the other thing, and I'm gonna start talking about some of my speculation. Okay, so we back over here with the uh, with the old screen and everything. So if we scroll up to it, it still tells me that there's more titles to be announced. So if there's more titles to be announced, well, there's only two more titles to be announced. Cause I think they're gonna do about ten games in this, and they've revealed eight so far. And we hear that they're gonna do online on them. Okay, so so now a. If you seen my last update video, I speculated what I thought they were going to be. I was looking at this game hard. Like, we're going to have to be uh, doing, what are we doing? We're going to have to be doing Forbidden Memories. And we're going to have to be doing, uh, what's that game called? Dungeon Dice Monsters. I'm over here like, it got to be those two. But now that they actually confirmed that we're getting Dual Monsters 1 through 8, I have another theory too. So... My theory here is that we're either going to get Dungeon Dice Monsters and Forbidden Memories or, wait for it, we may be, I hope we don't, I hope we don't get these two. We might get these two though, considering what direction we're going here. I hope it's Dungeon Dice Monsters and, and uh, Forbidden Memories. But if it's not those two, the only two games I can see them actually doing is... Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championships 2004 and Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championships 2005. Now hold on before everybody be like, oh no, why are we getting those? Well, considering where we headed, it's looking very likely that we're going to get the World Championship 2004 and World Championship 2005. And there's a little bit of evidence to support this too. We got some of the information during the World Championships. And... What other way would they want to promote those world championships by revealing that those two games are going to be in it? Now, I think I would actually don't want those. Like, I would rather us save that for an entire world championship series collection. Like, you know, that goes all the way from 2004 all the way up to the Yu-Gi-Oh! 5 Ds collection. That would be preferred. But if they go ahead and give us the world championship collection, I mean, uh you know it's whatever i think people would prefer tag force before that give us a tag force connection before we get the world championship collection but the world championship collection is all right but the games are kind of the same it oh man i don't know what's going on i hope we can get forbidden memories because that that cover art looks a lot like forbidden memories but i'm gonna show those games oh man here we are you get your world championships oh man Oh man, if we if we get in Yu-Gi-Oh World Championship 2004, I don't know. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna have online and all that other stuff with it. We're gonna get to see Bandit Keith and the rest of them. Ah man. But yeah, based on what I'm seeing, it, it gotta go one or two ways. Cause like how many old school Yu-Gi-Oh games can we do? Cause if you think about it, 
we got to the point where I don't think they're going to do those old Game Boy Color games. Like, hey, if they do that, I'll be shocked. But my two predictions is they're either going to do Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship 2004 and Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship 2005, or what I want them to do is Yu-Gi-Oh! Dungeon Dice Monsters and Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. And based on that cover art, it's looking a lot like Forbidden Memories, but based on the eight games that we already got, it's looking like these two World Championship games might show up. So I don't know which one they're going to do. Hey, if they put World Championship 2004 and then throw in Forbidden Memories, hey, that'll be funny. But, yeah, I, I, I'm not really sure. Dungeon Dice Monsters is looking like the, the less likeliest one, but I can see that one happening still because it has a lot of anime ties, and this looks more anime tie-ish than, than probably the World Championships. It's probably going to get its own collection. And then what are we going to do with the classic uh, PlayStation 2 games? Like, you know, Duelist of the Roses. People still want Duelist of the Roses, Capsule Monsters, uh, False Bound Kingdom. Uh, you know, I don't think they want Willy Breakers, but, hey, I'll take a Willy Breakers. Like, don't give me Dual Transfer, though. Dual Transfer was rough. But, yeah, that, it, this is this is odd. I really don't know where we're going with this and, like, what's going on, but I do know we'll know soon. And there's probably just going to be one more update, and we do that final update. Hey, we done doing updates, guys. We, we'll, we'll be playing the game, and we'll have the game, and you can play it for yourself after that. But there's going to be one more update before that game release and drops, and uh i'll try to let you know as soon as i know i'd be finding out two days like every single time but it's, it's gonna be cool though i'm glad they put it online on here i'm glad they're doing something to these games and don't worry people keep thinking that these games are not going to be in english they're definitely going to be on english don't don't worry about that they're going to be in english they're not going to give us con a collection and then not translate it to english that'd be that'd be dumb <laughs> that that would be hilarious but that's about it. Uh, just wanted to keep you guys informed. We are getting this game uh, February 27th, 2025, which is early next year. That's not too far away. About a few months, really, to be honest. And it's 50 bucks. Uh, you can pre-order it. And it's going to have a total of probably 10 games in there. They said 10, so we'll see. Game Mitsu is where we're getting all this information. They're they, they, they doing a better job than the Konami official website for some reason. The Konami official website is just not on it for some reason. They're dropping the ball. But... Yeah, you're going to be able to get the Harpy Fetters Duster card, which someone in the comments told me before that this card is not banned, which, thank goodness, because I thought the card was banned since I was playing professionally. But anyway, so that that's pretty cool. So we're going to get the Harpy Fetters Duster. We're going to be able to get this game. It might be another card that's in there with the Harpy Feather Duster, maybe. I, I don't know if they're just going to do that. But, yeah, that's that's about it. That's about it. This is this going to be a decent collection, and... We'll see if it's good, so we definitely going to play it when it comes out. And I hope you guys play it, too, if you want it. But if you don't want it, I understand. But hopefully we get the, the real collection that people want, them PlayStation 2 greats. And uh, the Tag Force games. And then y'all can move on to the 2006. Like, I, I guess people might want a GX collection, but wasn't GX only good for Tag Force? Like, correct me if I'm wrong, but I only cared about Tag Force with GX. So, I would say, hopefully after this, they do the PS2 Classics with the Yu-Gi-Oh! games, and then they do the Tag Force game collections. As long as we get those two, we, we sitting pretty. We, we over here eating good then. All right, anyway, I'm Outline Man, and I'm out, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if I missed anything below in the comments, but if I did, it'll be updated in the next update video, because we almost there now. It's February 27th, 2025. All right, guys, see you and stay cool.